welcome back to my channel today i thought i would do a this is what i bought for my family for christmas but also maybe give you some tips and ideas of what you could buy for your loved ones for christmas especially people who are hard to shop for okay let's begin i'm gonna start with my mother now tip number one be observant take a look around the people you know and love what do they use every day is there something they put on every day is there something they drink every day the obvious things like that then there's listening to them have they said they like something a tv show something from their childhood pay attention people will tell you all the time what they're into I went to Ross Dress for last a couple weeks ago. I got my Christmas shopping done, I want to say two weeks ago, three weeks ago, something like that. First time ever I've been so early with Christmas shopping, but like I was saying, I pay attention to people. And I know my mom, she struggles with pain. So I got her, one of the things I got her was this aromatherapy shoulder wrap. Now, I don't have a ton of money, so I like going to Ross, TJ Maxx, that kind of thing. Because they usually have really affordable stuff, but useful stuff. I know she's going to like this. She's been asking for stuff like this. It smells really good. It's like clay beads inside. It smells like lavender. She's going to get use out of this. She's going to enjoy it. It's great. It only cost me a few bucks. I also bought her these... Uh, microfiber hair towels she's always saying she has problems with her hair she's always struggling to find the right shampoo I figured something like this um, these microfiber towels are great for your hair they reduce frizz they reduce fallout so she will like this she's always saying her hair is falling out and all of that so pay attention she also told me that she's been wanting like a cardigan wrap kind of thing. So found this at the thrift store. There's no reason why you can't go to the thrift store and buy your loved one something. They have really good quality items. Let me see if I can show you this. This little short kind of three quarter sleeve length deal. Cardigan style. She's always buying and doing things for other people she never buys anything for herself so i know she's been wanting something like this for a while so i got it for her next my father my father is a particular kind of man you probably know plenty of men just like him they never tell you what they want never tell you what they want say oh, i don't care wow that's helpful thanks i had to pull information out of him and all he told me was he wanted stuff for fishing so he did sp specify uh pompano pompano lures 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 so that's what i got i went on amazon i found him these hopefully this is what he wanted he's a simple man I also got him body wash. If all else fails, if you don't know what to get someone because they really won't tell you, you don't know them that well, blah, blah. Two things, body products because everyone's got to bathe or food or gift cards. I guess that's three. But if you don't want to get gift cards, if you want something else, body products and like candy stuff. Next on my list was my sister and her husband. Um, they are also two people who apparently don't want anything. I don't understand people who are like, mm, don't give me anything. If people are offering, just tell them what you want. Just make a little bit of a list. It doesn't have to be expensive, nothing fancy, but like speak, tell them, okay? 
neither of them told me anything. So, so what did I do? What did I just say? Food. White chip macadamia nut cookies from Ross. This was like three bucks on one of their tables at the front. These look really good. Probably gonna make her share with me. Um, you're a deli, so you know it's good. But I also decided she is a stay at home mother of three. She homeschools her kids. She needs to treat herself. So I bought her some nice perfume. This is Elizabeth Arden's green tea perfume. I've heard good things about this. I did smell it. It's a very um, easy to like scent. Very soft and simple. Nothing too extreme. So I'm going to tell her she needs to treat herself more. And my brother-in-law got him food as well. Knott's Berry Farm strawberry shortbread cookies. These were also only like three dollars or so at Ross, and these look really good too. Yeah. Gift cards, food, body wash, great for people who won't tell you what they want. I also got him body wash. Now on to my grandparents. I only have one set of grandparents left, bless them, and rest in peace to my other sets. My grandma died recently in September, so this Christmas is going to be different and a little difficult. So I'm going to treat my remaining grandparents so as good as possible in my budget. At Ross, I found this bag. It was one of the more affordable bags. They have a lot of designer bags there also. Um, if you got a little extra money and you know someone needs a new purse, perfect place to go. Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, all of those. This was only 16 bucks and it's a really nice purse. It's the brand Crossy New York. And it's super spacious inside looks really nice. So I thought my grandmother would love that. My grandmother is a very social person. She's always going places and she's like 80. So <laughs> thought a new purse to go to a brunch with their friends would be nice. As for my grandfather, another person who absolutely will never tell you what he likes. So I took a look around. What is he always doing? He's always grilling. He's always making food for like, other people mostly, but for himself too, obviously. So I went on Amazon and I looked up gifts for men and I came across this. The ultimate meat eight artesian recipes. On the back it says you can make eight delicious, delicious types of cured seasons and dried meats. And I was like, okay, that's actually pretty cool. This was like, I want to say ten dollars or less so all you need is to buy the meat and it has everything else and instructions in here and you can make your own jerky and stuff thought that was pretty cool just remember to pay attention to what people do what they say even if it's not pertaining to a holiday you never know what information you might learn it'll make it easier for you to buy gifts now I'm left with three more people, my nephews, the people who are most fun to shop for, the people who are most fun to give gifts to because they're kids. So these three will actually tell you what they want and what they wanted. They recently were um, reading uh, Chronicles of Narnia. I believe they're reading all the books and they watched the first movie, I think. So they told me they wanted some video games. They have an Xbox 360. Their parents aren't going to give them anything fancy yet. Because first of all, that's expensive. And so what I did was I went on eBay. And I found this. Pay a couple dollars for each one. Because we're on a budget. We're not going to buy anything expensive. This is perfect. This, these were like $5 each. And it's what they actually wanted. They also said... They want some Lego Dimensions. And when I went on eBay, I found some for like 
fifty dollars, sixty, ninety bucks, and I was like, huh, no. So I kept searching, and I found these. These were both around ten, I want to say, dollars, fifteen, something along those lines. This one's Ninjago, and this one's from Lord of the Rings, Gollum. And it's what they wanted, so hopefully they're happy with it. If at first you don't succeed, if at first you don't find anything in your price range, just keep looking. It might take a while, but you'll eventually find something. I also got my nephew's books. It's important to not just play video games, you gotta read too. I got my oldest nephew this Marvin Redpost book. I loved Marvin Redpost when I was a kid, so hopefully he likes this too. And then I got this gingerbread baby book and a dinosaur book for the other two. For my youngest nephew, I bought him two things along with the book, obviously, but these little scratch-off pads, I thought they were cute. These only cost like five bucks on Amazon. I left him a little note. So he'll probably like that because he likes little arts and crafts. But I also got him this little dinosaur toy. You assemble it yourself with this little screwdriver. My nephews, all three of them, love dinosaurs. And that is it. I bought myself a couple things too. Probably spent more for myself than everyone else, but don't tell anyone. Um, I know what I like, so I'm easier to shop for. I'm going to post the video about what I bought for myself for Christmas over Black Friday next video, so stay tuned for that. And remember, shop smart, pay attention, you'll figure this out, you'll be okay. Have you done all your Christmas shopping yet? Have you started? Do you know what you're going to get? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.